Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So the most amazing experience I had in my boxing session today that I must share with you on this episode, and it was something that my trainer Rob said to me, and as we were training, and he's holding up uh, mitts or pads, so whether you know anything about boxing or not, you've probably seen shit in the movies, like the trainer's like holding up pads, right, like, or like, like mitts, so just think of like small pads just go over the hand, and he's throwing out combinations that I'm to throw, and he's pad, so like I'm hitting the pad, right, with with my punches and as I was throwing a cross which is which is a straight punch so if you ever if you know kind of what a one two is like it's like left hand right hand so my cross with my right hand so as I'm throwing a cross and I said to Rob I said I feel like I'm reaching I feel like I'm stretching and he goes well like you really like you it's okay like you you want that you don't want to go close and he goes the reason why is this and this is why I hopped on right now before I'm walking to my chiropractic office like, ah, oh, I got to do a podcast episode about this because I think this is important for you to hear. My trainer Rob then said this to me. He said, well, Karen, the power is at the end of the punch. So I want you just to think, I mean, you know what it looks like if someone throws a punch, right? If you throw it and let's say you stomp it like your elbow bent, like you have an extended, right? At full extension is where there's that power. He said power's at the end of the punch. And automatically, with the way that my brain fucking works, I'm like, oh, dude. Because boxing is rich with metaphors, like rich. I think that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I love it so much, is there'll be things that come up that I'll go, oh my God, like what a great analogy for life. And so here's what I heard in that. When Rob said that to me, the powers of the end of the punch, I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like that's so killer. So here's, here's what it meant to me. See, there's power at the end. But what that means is this. Let's say, let me give you a context. You're working towards an outcome that you desire. You want more connection in your marriage. You want more revenue in your business. You want to be more present with your children. You want to have a lean, strong, powerful body. And you think that, you know, the, 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 the outcome that you desire Uh, maybe you can hack it. Maybe you can make it easier. Maybe you can get there faster. Maybe you can kind of cut corners because, you know, no one will fucking know. They won't know if you're holding back and playing small, but you do. But the power is going to be when you hit that outcome at the end of that, and it's not going to happen unless you have a lot of fucking hard work leading up to that. See, the power builds. The power builds with the training. So every single time that I'm training... My punches are getting stronger. Every single time that I am present with my kids, I show up more as the mom that I want to be. There's power that's building in the training, in the, the, the daily, the daily uh, habits that you're doing. The things that you do every single fucking day is like a little bit of power and a little bit, a little, little bit of power until at the end of the punch, when you reach that outcome, that's because of all the work that you've led up to. The power's at the end of the punch. The power happens when you've deposited again on a regular basis into this area of your life that you're trying to achieve an outcome, a result. You're trying to hit something with that. So when I have women that that come to coach with me, whether it's through my new monthly program called The Sisterhood, whether it is one-on-one coaching, group coaching, live events, and will often come to me and say, listen, Karen, like my husband and I, we're like roommates now, like... Where's the passion? Where's like, I want more of that. I want more of the connection. So this thing that you've told me, Karen, about this daily text message, I'm supposed to send him what I honor, love, appreciate about him. Like, what's the big deal? Like, you know, we're always around each other. Like, he knows I love him. This is stupid. Okay, not necessarily said in those words, but sometimes. But it's said in, it's said in action. In other words, it's said in, in action because I'll have so many women that will discount this. The power's at the end of the punch. They'll start sending that text message every single day. And I usually will get a message or some kind of communication around day seven, day four, day 10, where they've been actually depositing daily, 
power's been increasing, that connection has been increasing, the, the mere uh, action of, of saying like, what do I appreciate about my husband today? And then him being on the receiving end of that, seeing that, reading that, they notice significant shifts in a week to 10 days. Now, this does not mean, by the way, if your marriage is fucked, that you can text him every day for seven days and suddenly everything's going to be fixed and magical. No, no, no. Listen, listen. This is, this is the beginning of things, right? But there's big shifts. I, on the other hand, have been doing this for two and a half years. My husband and I have been having weekly date nights for two and a half years. We've been, you know, going to war. We're honest with each other. We set up agreements. We sometimes break them and then we set up new agreements. We have powerful communication. We have powerful conversations. We are not afraid to be clear about what we need from each other and what we really want and desire within our marriage. Now I want to take a look at my marriage. Powerful. Not perfect. Never perfect. Listen, don't ever, don't ever go for perfect. This is stupid. Powerful. Powerful. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. Dog came up as I'm recording this podcast. Good morning. So there's power at the end of the punch. See, the power comes, sister, from you doing the things that matter on a regular basis. No matter what. And the power doesn't happen if you half-ass it. The power doesn't happen if you're like, "Mm, I'm just going to kind of not, I just don't really feel like it today. And then suddenly a day becomes a week, becomes two months, and holy shit, totally fell off the wagon. The power's at the end of the punch. The power's at the end of the punch. It is everything you're doing right now that will create that power within your life. So you want, and this is the thing that I often refer to, is like, that's the unsexy shit, right? It's not sexy to be like, 4 a.m., here I am, getting up, gym, meditation, journal, reading, study, teach back, text my husband, nutrition. Like, that's not sexy. Sexy is like, oh, I got, I got like sleep last night, I got eight, nine hours, I feel awesome. Yeah, let's take charge of the day. Yeah, that does not happen often, just so you know. It's more often the other one of just like, oh, fuck. Okay, what do I want? I want this outcome. Cool. Why does it matter? This is my deep why. Like, it moves me to think about achieving this. All right. Let's do this. I'm getting up. Let's go. See, the power is when you do these things on a regular basis at the end of the punch. And it will not happen. The power will not happen in your life if you half-ass, if you do it sometimes, if you do it only when you feel like it. Power's at the end of the punch. So here's your more tip for today. I want you to take a look at one of the more four pillars that you are trying to planning, setting up, or in the process of having a very clear outcome of what you want. Okay, and the four more pillars are this. It could be something in your marriage. It could be in your business. It could be with your uh, body. And it could be with your family. You as a parent, kids, or wherever you define family. For some that don't have children, family of that is going to be their, you know, friends are like family or immediate family. So what is the outcome that you really desire with that? And I want you to ask yourself this honest question. Will I actually have power at the end of that punch? So if you set this up with a timeline, which by the way is required for any kind of outcome, a timeline, a short one, a timeline of when you want to hit that desired outcome result target, Are the daily actions that you are now doing to get you there, is it going to actually create power at the end of that? Are you going to have power at the end of that punch? Be really honest. This is just between you and you. And just ask yourself honestly the question, am I doing the work that's required to create power at the end of that punch? So listen, I know for many of you have been listening to this podcast for a while. Maybe this is the first episode. If so, welcome. And I have a more tip after every single episode. I think this is three, oh my gosh, I think it's episode 321 that comes out today. That's a lot of fucking content. That's 321 more tips at the end of every single episode. You could take them and, and follow them and string them together and get incredible results. But the bottom line is that most of you will not. It's just honest. It's just truth, right? It's hard to do shit in isolation. When you're part of a, part of a powerful group of women that are just like you, that's way different, right? So here's something really cool that I want to invite you to join. I have a new free private Facebook group called The Woman Wanting More Experience. 
And I've been posting questions and videos within there to really help you get some clarity on the things that you really want within your life. There are currently 340 something members that are with like fast. I just put this up as I record this podcast. I just put the group together. Oh gosh. How many days ago now? Nine days ago, nine days ago. It's like exploded. It'll be at 500 soon. Like it's growing every single day by 10, 20, 30 women. So here's what you need to do. In the show, so two things actually, because the, the link for this is not like an easy link, so I'm not going to give you the URL because you won't, you won't remember it. So either if you're listening on your phone, you want to click on the little I that's on the episode, and that'll bring up the show notes, and there'll be a clickable link. Okay, so let's say join the Woman Wanting More Facebook, no, it's probably me, join the, um, the Woman Wanting More uh, Facebook group. Hold on, fuck, join the <laughs> Woman Wanting More Experience Facebook group. It'll be clear, I swear to you, in the show notes. Click on that, and that'll bring right through, and you can actually request to be added. So make the request, and I approve all requests within about six to eight hours, um, because it's a closed group. And I will add you in, okay, if you were actually listening from a episode, because you're on my email newsletter list, then you'll see the link in there. And if you still don't have it, then you can actually uh, either Facebook message me, or through the Woman Want to More Facebook page, or you can email me, Dr. Karen at drkarenosborn.com, and I will um, send you the link to request to be added to that group. So I will talk the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you and the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosborn.com newsletter.